Alistair Crawley, yes. Um, you're talking about... Now, he... Um, oh, Alistair Crawley. Now, it, that's associated with Satanism, right? No, no, not at all. Oh, you know what? I'm thinking of Antoine LaVey, I think. Yeah, yeah. Antoine mm-hmm. LaVey is Satanism. Yes. Uh, uh, Alistair Crawley is... Do what the will should be the whole of law. Love is the law. Love is the will. Okay. And that's kind of your world philosophy? Correct. Okay, cool. Well, that's really neat. <laughs> Did you want to talk about that more? Or? Yeah, um, it, it's less about more what you want. It's about finding out who you are. It, it takes some time. you got to figure out who you are as a person. Okay. You can do that through meditation, through prayer, uh, if you're a Christian, or... Um, you find out who you are as a person and then be that person. Yeah, I mean, sounds pretty simple to me. I don't see anything in there that immediately strikes me as being faulty. Was that to do with paganism? Yes, it's really attributed to paganism because it's not associated with the Abrahamic gods or the um, it's not Muslim or are Jewish or Christian either. It's it, figure out who you are as a person. Be that person and you will not find problems. Mm. There, there are a lot of gods that try to tell you one thing or another. Gods are one and plenty. Uh, and then um, originally I called in and said, hey, about paganism, about multiple gods. That's the kind of the point. There is no God. There is no um, singular point that we should find out. Um, you, what the point is, you got to find out who you are as a person. Live that. Why do you have to assign it to some God or some uh, every, everything else? Hmm. Just be who you are. I like that. You know, it kind of sounds like it's, secular humanism to me almost. It is, you know what that is. It is really cool. Well, Daryl, it's thank- a different way to approach it. Yeah, I could see that for sure. You know, I'm I am a big advocate of secular humanism. That's kind of the life stance I take. Um, and it sounds like this is another worldview that seems, I mean, pretty compatible with my beliefs. I'm gonna say, yeah, I encourage you, Daryl. It sounds cool. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, Daryl, thanks again for calling. Uh, That was an interesting conversation, and be sure to call again next time. Yeah, you know, that's it's it's kind of interesting how we can talk about, I don't want to say new age philosophies, but definitely, you know, newer kinds of philosophies um, that have sprung up in the the 20th century and beyond. Um, You see a lot of good and bad things that come from, I mean, secular humanism, I mean, well, humanism itself isn't as new, but it's a relatively recent phenomenon where we're talking about the tradition and history of ideas. And with the new age kind of stuff, and I mean, I'm including neo-paganism in that, maybe that's not proper, but it seems like, like I was kind of talking about earlier, there's a mishmash of different ideas that don't always blend together and end up kind of being this kind of woo. What do you think about that, Mimsy? Yeah, I mean, I, I don't know what to think about. I, I don't know too much about like what, what he was kind of um, discussing in terms of mm-hmm. the, But yeah, I think people have started to do that where they kind of mishmash everything. And like, as long as you're peaceful and cool and like you love people <laughs> and you don't want to hurt anyone, like, I don't care. Like, it's all good, man. Like, I like I that. Mean, he's asking, like, yeah, I mean, like deep down, I feel like I'm just like a true hippie and I just like peace <laughs> and love and like, whatever. It's all good. That's but, great. Um, <laughs> but, yeah. <laughs> I love that. Yeah, you know, it's it's funny because I remember the last time I went to Barnes & Noble, you always see the New Age books and the spiritual books and the Christian books and the Muslim books. They're all in the same section now, you know, in this oh, one part. Yeah, oh, oh, yeah, for sure. At least at the Barnes & Nobles I've been going to. And it's like, I guess people, modern secular society has kind of relegated all of this into this one kind of corner category, which is kind of an interesting thing to think about. But yeah, I, I think that's how a lot of Americans kind of view religion. I think it's kind of a mishmash of whatever they want to believe in some ways. And that could be good and bad. 
but you know yeah that's... if you take all the good things from stuff then it's fine i mean it's interesting though how like the karma thing has become like that's like it's from hinduism it's totally like random like a like everyone kind of believes that now like it's like a normal thing to be like oh you're gonna get bad karma like mm -hmm. it's interesting though but, yeah um, yeah especially just yeah. the specific use of karma as a word i mean i'm sure there's other kinds of worldviews that have had a similar idea to it but taking exclusively from terms that are used in like hindi culture and stuff is is really fascinating to me it just kind of shows the blend of the world that we have now 